Yeah, it's headlock. T-minus six minutes and counting. The pilot, Dick Cooley, has begun the APU pre-start activity. And it is complete. The development flight instrumentation, which measures stresses on the orbiter during flight, have been turned on. Recorder stop of playback after landing. T-minus five minutes, 40 seconds, and counting. T-minus five minutes, 30 seconds. And pilot Dick Cooley has signified the auxiliary power units are ready to be started. T-minus five minutes, 15 seconds, and counting. We're coming up on the T-minus five minute point. Two, one, T minus five minutes. We have a goal for APU start, and the start sequence has begun. T minus four minutes, 44 seconds, and counting. That's uh, the tower. T-minus 4 minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. We have a total of 16 minutes of hydrogen supply for running the APUs prior to the liftoff. Okay, APU start is complete. Let's go to board. APU start is complete. T-minus 4 minutes, 10 seconds, and counting. T minus four minutes. We have begun nitrogen purge of the main engines on the orbiter. T minus three minutes, 50 seconds and counting. T minus three minutes, 45 seconds. The yellow bond, speed brake, and rudder are being moved to a pre programmed pattern to assure that they'll be ready to be used in flight. Little exhaust from the APU coming out the tail of the orbiter, indicating that all is well. T minus three minutes, 28 seconds and counting. The shuttle is now on internal power. However, the fuel cells are still receiving their fuel from the ground support system to the tail service mast for one more minute. T minus three minutes, 15 seconds. The profile checks of the aero surfaces have been completed and checked. T minus three minutes, five seconds. The engine gimbal or movement check is underway to assure that they're ready for flight control. T minus two minutes, 55 seconds and counting. The lock valve on the external tank has been closed and pressurization begun. After the tank is pressurized, the hold capability is limited. T minus two minutes, 40 seconds. We have cleared the caution and warning memory. The gaseous oxygen vent arm is uh, being retracted. T-minus 2 minutes, 30 seconds and counting. The fuel cell ground supply of oxygen and hydrogen has been terminated, and the vehicle is on its onboard supply. T-minus 2 minutes, 15 seconds. The main engines have been gimbaled to their start position, and the pressure on the liquid oxygen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on the two-minute point. T-minus two minutes and counting. The liquid nit hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization underway. T-minus one minute, 50 seconds and counting. The gaseous oxygen vent arm is almost fully retracted. T-minus one minute, 40 seconds and counting. T-minus 1 minute, 30 seconds, 90 seconds away from launch of STS-2. T-minus 1 minute, 15 seconds, and counting, the liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on the 
one minute point in our countdown. Everything going smoothly. T minus one minute and counting. T-minus 50 seconds, the firing system for the ground suppression water is armed. T-minus 40 seconds, development flight instrument recorders are on. T-minus 37 seconds, we're about just a few seconds away from switching control of launch to the computer sequences. We have control of the... Countdown now being conducted by the launch sequences on board the orbiter. T minus 20 seconds and counting. The SRB hydraulic power unit has started. The SRB nozzles have been moved to start position. Coming up on 10. T minus 10, 9. We have go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Minus 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. We have ignition of the solid rocket boosters and lift up. Lift off of America's space shuttle, and the space shuttle has moved the power. Houston now controlling the mission control. Confirm roll maneuver started. 20 seconds thrust, which is good. 25 seconds roll maneuver completed. 30 seconds, Columbia now 1 nautical mile in altitude. 35 seconds, status check, mission controlled by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson, you're going to go at 40 seconds. Columbia Houston, you're going 40. Roger, go at 40. And master arm, and speed. 48 seconds, broadly an inch down for Mexico. You're going the master alarm, Columbia. No, no. Coming up on create a maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Mark one minute, Columbia now five nautical miles in altitude, three nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 2,300 feet per second. One minute, eight seconds, pass through max two, Columbia still looking good, probably the engines back to 100%. Columbia now five seconds. Columbia now 14 nautical miles in altitude, 10 nautical miles down range. Houston, now you can expect an EVAP CNW. One, one minute 45 seconds coming up on negative seats where altitude's too high for ejection seats. Negative seats. Mark one minute 55 seconds. Columbia now 21 nautical miles in altitude, 18 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 5,000 feet per second. Standing by now for solid rocket booster separation confirmation. Roger, copy. PC less than 50. Okay, looks like we got a good answer. Confirm good solid rocket booster separation. Smooth as glass, Houston. Two minutes, 25 seconds. Onboard guidance is converging this program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Columbia now 35 nautical miles in altitude, 40 nautical miles downrange. Okay, Houston, the temps are coming down, and uh, looking good. Roger, Columbia, thank you. Mark, 2 minutes, 45 seconds. Columbia now has two-engine landing capability at Rota Naval Air Station, Spain. 2 minutes, 54 seconds. Status check and mission control. Given a go for three minutes. Columbia, Houston, you're looking good at three. Roger, right, Columbia, looking good at three. Mark, 3 minutes, 8 seconds, uh, Columbia now 46 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles downrange. Columbia's three main engines continue to run smoothly, Engel and truly really moving out now. Velocity now reading 6,700 feet per second. Mark, 3 minutes, 30 seconds, Columbia now 52 nautical miles in altitude, 85 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now... Reading 7,000 feet per second. Return status check and the mission control by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. England truly given a go to continue. Mark 
3 minutes 55 seconds. Columbia now 58 nautical miles in altitude, 112 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 7,900 feet per second. Four minutes, eight seconds, uh, standing by for a negative return and pressed ATO call up by Capcom Brandon Stein. Negative return. Mark, negative return. 